Today, I'm going to be talking about Neuron Writer, and more specifically, what I want to get into today is talking a little bit about what NLP keywords are and key phrases, talk about search intent, and show you how Neuron Writer uses NLP keywords to create highly optimized blog posts that will definitely help you rank faster and hopefully easier. Again, Neuron Writer, optimize your website content so Google adores it. That's the whole key. It's an SEO optimization tool. So competitors in this area with Neuron Writer are Surfer SEO, Phrase, there's some other tools. Now I've been using Neuron Writer for well over a year. I really like the tool. It's easy to use. It is very popular. It's still available right now as a lifetime deal on AppSumo, so that's pretty important to remember, and I'll talk about this later in the video. So the one thing that Neuron Writer does, it does these NLP-based recommendations for content. I'll show you how that works here. So what Neuron Writer does is it finds all these NLP terms that should be in your blog post, and it does that automatically for you. So it makes it very easy for you to create highly optimized blog posts. It has other features that will help you build topical authority, basically to help you plan and manage your content structure. So you can do content plans, it has a content manager, it has some content publishing capabilities that makes it easier for you to manage your blog. Here's an example of a case study from Neuron Writer with WebWave. They increased their visibility by 7,500%. And I wanted to show you a couple of other things because Neuron Writer has a very active Facebook group. I highly recommend that you go to Facebook, do a search on Neuron Writer. It'll take you there. When I was going through the Facebook group, I found this particular case study where somebody shared some information. I'm going to go into slideshow mode here. So note, this was their traffic. They started using Neuron Writer and they saw this big peak. So that's pretty interesting and actually very cool to see how when they started using Neuron Writer to optimize their content, how much more traffic they were gaining. Here's another screenshot from the Facebook group. This is a Google Search Console screen. So you can see just how much the traffic took off once they started using Neuron Writer. One reason this happens is because Neuron Writer is great at finding NLP keywords and phrases that are important for natural language processing. And this would include things like nouns, verbs, adjectives, prepositions, pronouns, etc., that represent these semantic concepts and relations and intentions. So what it's going out, and I'll show you how this works in just a second, it's using your keyword that you put in and do a content query with and then returning all of these things that are part of this whole NLP keyword infrastructure, so it helps you rank better. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about search intent. Search intent is just something that refers to the goal or purpose behind a user search query. One thing that's important for search engine ranking is to make sure you've got your search intent nailed down. And I'll show you what I mean by that. But search intent just refers to the goal or purpose behind a user search query. And what you're trying to do is write a blog post that matches up to that. So that's why search intent becomes important. So I'm not gonna read through this whole thing. Obviously you can pause the video and read the whole thing if you want to. The most important factor to consider is Neuron Writer is going to help you tailor content and keywords to align with informational, navigational, or transactional intent. And if you do that, you're going to rank better and you're going to produce content that people want to read. Let's go ahead and just show you what the process looks like. But you always need to start with a keyword. You know, I happen to use keywords people use. I'm going to go in and find a keyword here. In this case, I'm going to write an article called What are the most common mistakes in vlogging? I'm going to copy that. So now we're in Neuron Writer. This is where you do a content query. Basically, a content query starts the whole process for you to be working with your keyword tool. Then you're in Neuron Writer to do your query. Then you go from Neuron Writer into your AI writing tool. And then you do the further optimization after, after your AI writing tool has completed an article. So this is just the first step in the process. So you have to do a new query. We're going to drop in our keyword. Now, the one thing I wanted to point out here is you don't have to do this for one single keyword. So if you're a great planner and you've went out and you've found 20 keywords, you can go into the advanced settings and you can check this and you can enable create multiple analyses at once. And if you do that, 
in this section where it says running shoes, trail running shoes, running shoes for men, etc., you would put in each keyword that you want to create a content query for on its own line, and then you would be able to click start. So in this case, we're not going to do that. Let me just close out of here. We're just going to do a single content query, but I did want to make sure that you knew that you could do multiple ones. In fact, the other day, I actually did 80 content queries at once. I just set that up, walked away, and then I had all of these content queries done so I could start writing articles for this new blog. We'll click new query. What are the most common mistakes in vlogging? Click start. You'll see on the right hand side that it's working through this. It's at 20%. It's going out. It's looking at the SERPs. And then when it's done, we'll be able to see exactly what those NLP key terms and phrases are that we want to include in our article. All right, the content query is complete. Some of the things that you're going to see here are things like SERP difficulty. So this has a lower difficulty. This means we have a better chance of ranking. Your keyword tools will help you out with that too. Let's go ahead and open this up, click on it. So this is where I really want to stress search intent. So these are the blog posts that you're going to be competing against. You're going to want to write something that is going to break in here and hopefully get you in the top 10 or top 20. But it's very important that when you ask Neuron Writer to pull back all these NLP key terms and phrases that you want to have in your blog post, that you've got the search intent correct. So this is what I mean. For example, this one, five mistakes to avoid as a travel vlogger. This particular uh, article is very oriented toward travel specifically. We're doing an overview article. I don't want to try to rank against this one. I'm not interested in pulling in NLP key terms and phrases from this particular article. I'm going to uncheck that. This is another one, vlogging for business, 10 best practices and nine mistakes you should avoid. I'm not interested in trying to rank against this one either. It's very oriented toward business specifically. I'm writing an overview article. I'm going to look in here and see, are any of these YouTube? See, it says 259 words. This is probably coming from the description in YouTube. I'm not going to try to rank against that. I'm going to uncheck that. Here's one. I'm going to check that. Five mistakes beginning vloggers make. This is another one that I would pull out of this mix. Common mistakes to avoid when starting a new YouTube channel. That's completely different than what we're writing about. So I'm going to uncheck that going to see if there's anything else here. I'm going to check this article. To be quite frank with you, if you're a brand new blog, you know, breaking into the top 10 is going to be hard when you have no backlinking structure, when you have a low domain rating. It's pretty difficult, right? But breaking into the top 20 sometimes can occur. Even though this article ranks right now in Google at 12 and another one at 14, that's okay. Uh, I want to go ahead and rank against those because those are more of an overview of vlogging mistakes to avoid not specific to travel, not specific to business. So now that we have the articles out of the SERPs that we want to try to rank against, we're going to click next. So right away in the right hand side, you'll see all the NLP terms that you want to have in your article. So basic terms are the are ones you definitely want to have show up in your article. And then you have extended terms. You don't have to have every one of these terms. You know, I will warn you against like over optimizing as well. But we'll talk about that when we start to see some of the scores that Neuron Writer generates. So one thing that I am going to do, because I'm going to use a title, and this title I want to have Neuron Writer generate for me. And let's see what it comes up with. And again, you want your title to also be very oriented toward the search intent for this article. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the five. I'm just going to say top mistakes vloggers make and then you can also have it generate a description. And if you don't like the description that it creates, have it generate another one. You want to make sure that your title is interesting and would attract somebody, right? Because what they're going to see when they are looking at the Google search engine returns, you know, you could have the greatest article, well optimized, very readable, etc. But you have to have a title that makes somebody want to click that title. And you have to have a description that will help them decide, yep, this is something that I want to read. Because title and description are really important because that's what people are seeing in the Google search engine results. And so you want to do something that's going to get them to click through. If they don't click through, they're never going to read your article. So we're going to save and close. 
note the score that we'd like to exceed is a 47. Just from virtue of using the title that Neuron Writer suggested, we're at a 10. Now, this is the second piece of using Neuron Writer that you definitely want to do. I create an outline and I use their AI outline tool. So I click that and then I have to generate this outline. You cannot generate an outline until you have a title. So that's why I had it create a title first. As you can see, here's the title top, mistakes vloggers make, same as the one that we generated. I'm going to adjust the generation settings. I like to generate my outlines in GPT-4 Turbo. So I'm gonna go ahead and click write for me. And basically what we're doing is we're setting the foundation for the article that you're going to write in whatever AI writing tool you use. Now, today what I'm going to do is set up this article in seowriting.ai, happens to be a tool that I've used for quite a while, but you could do this in any tool that allows you to put in your own sp specific outline. So what I'm gonna do is get this article set up in seowriting.ai, I'm gonna pause the video, and once I've done that, we'll go ahead and continue. All right, so I've got my blog post set up in seowriting.ai. I wanna cover something quickly first. Some people are going to ask, well, Neuron Writer does AI writing. Why don't you just write the whole article in Neuron Writer? And you can. You can do that if you want to. I always think the real strength of Neuron Writer has been its SEO optimization capability. Of course, it's tried to add some AI writing tools in. So let's say you create this article like I am in seowriting.ai. I'll show you when I bring it over into Neuron Writer. There are ways that you can add additional content using the AI writing tools that Neuron Writer has. In fact, I, I used one of them was the AI outline tool. It did some AI writing for me. So that doesn't mean that I don't use Neuron Writer for some AI writing. I just don't use it for long form AI writing. Let's go ahead and finish this out. I am not going to really talk much about seowriting.ai except to point out a couple of things. My main keyword and my title obviously are the same that I used in Neuron Writer. The other thing that I wanted to point out, these are all the NLP keywords and key phrases that uh, I received from Neuron Writer. So if we go ahead, if we take a look here, all of these I extracted using this tool right here. You can copy this list of terms. Then what I did is I took it over into Google and copied them in and made a couple of adjustments because really all you want to copy is the basic and extended NLP key terms. And that, that's what I have here. And that's what I brought over into seowriting.ai. Everything else I've got set up. Now here's the outline. This outline came from Neuron Writer. I used their AI writing tool to generate this outline. So I did use some of the AI writing tools in Neuron Writer, and that's how I got this outline to put into seowriting.ai. And I'm gonna go ahead and let's run this and get this article. And when it's complete, I'll go ahead and show you what kind of SEO optimization score that we're going to get. I'm gonna pause the video, come back when the article is complete. All right, seowriting.ai has completed the article. I'm just going to briefly scroll through here so you can see what it looks like. It's got YouTube videos in it, it looks good. Now, let's go ahead and see what kind of SEO optimization score we get. We used seowriting.ai, but we used the Neuron Writer generated outline, and we also used the NLP key terms. But we're gonna go ahead and copy this and jump over to Neuron Writer and see what kind of SEO optimization score we get. So let's copy it, we've done that. Let's go back over to Neuron Writer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just delete that outline that I had to generate. And I'm gonna drop in my document that's been written. And so here you can see it. And here we are, we're at a 66 and the highest of all selected competitors was a 47. Here's one thing that I wanna point out because I know people are gonna go, oh, look at, there's a lot of red here. Aren't you over-optimizing? Now I asked seowriting.ai to write a medium size article based on the outline that we got from Neuron Writer. To complete this article, it used 3,294 words. That's how long this article is. Your target is 926. This article is over three times as long 
as the target at 3294. It's over three times as long as the target for 926. So here, like for instance, video, you're supposed to be using it 13 to 24 times. And that's great if it's an article that is only 926 words long, but this one's 3,200 words long. So using it 52 times rather than 13 to 24 is fine because this article is much longer. So we're really not keyword stuffing. What it's doing is it's basing the amount of times that you should use a keyword on the average article length. So I, I don't concern myself with that. I think we're good. You can see that it's used the basic terms, every basic term except YouTuber. It, of course, has used some of the extended terms as well. Terms and headings. You can go through and see the H1 heading has used these terms. And then the, the H2 and H3 terms are in here. And actually, you could even optimize this more if there were places for the H3 or H2 headings where you could add some of these phrases that weren't used. You could certainly do that. When I'm at a 66 and, and the actual highest of all selected competitors is a 47, I'm fine. I'm just going to leave it like it is. Now... You'll want to maybe run this through Hemingway. You'll want to run it through Grammarly. Whatever you do when you write an AI written document. Everything that I write in AI, I proofread. I make sure it's factual. I make sure that it makes sense. I make sure that it's trying to match user intent. I add my own expertise in it as well. I do a lot of logging, obviously, and I do a lot of work in YouTube. So I can go through here and I would be adding my personal experiences into this as well to make it my own. But this shows you the power of Neuron Writer. You know, we're at a 66. Now, not all of these are going to end up 20 points higher than the selected competitor. But I will tell you that if you pay attention in the beginning to search intent, so I showed you that slide on search intent, and I showed you how I thought about search intent when I was doing a content query, I think that's going to help a lot because you really want to get your blog post as focused as possible. And so that's the way to do it. Uh, when Neuron Writer returns the top 10 in the SERPs, make sure when you look at your keyword, that you uncheck anything that doesn't really closely align with the keyword that you're writing your blog post for and you're asking Neuron Writer to optimize. So let's go ahead and just jump over to AppSumo very quickly. In AppSumo, you'll find Neuron Writer is available as a lifetime deal. You can start as low as $89 for a single code. Now, I want to be very clear about this. If you want to get all of the features of Neuron Writer, you want to buy more than a single code. And before I scroll down further, I just want to show you that it was just recently awarded the Community Tool of the Year on AppSumo. As far as I'm concerned, it is the best deal going right now on AppSumo. And I highly encourage you to purchase Neuron Writer if you haven't done so. It's been on a lifetime deal for a while. How long it's going to stay here, I don't know. So don't kick yourself later if you don't grab Neuron Writer now. Go ahead and we'll look down here at the very bottom. And this is what I mean. When you buy in at a single code, you can do uh, up to 25 content analysis queries per month. So that's great. You have some AI writing credits, which helps you create outlines, maybe filling in some paragraphs here and there. You can do that. Now, as you go into a double code, obviously you get more content analysis queries. I didn't go into projects, but you get five projects. So if you have multiple domains that you're writing content for, that's what the projects are for. And so that's something to think about. I would highly recommend buying in at multiple codes. And the reason I say that is you get access to all the advanced AI tools that Neuron Writer has to offer when you do that, and you get access to all of the features that it has to offer. I highly recommend going in at multiple codes. Like I said, just the other day for a brand new blog, I had found 80 keywords and I did 80 content analysis queries in one shot. I have five codes of Neuron Writer, so that's why I was able to do that. But I just think you want to think long term here with your projects and your blogs. And I think you're going to find you're using Neuron Writer quite a bit. And you'll want to just consider going into multiple codes if you can. I hope you found it 
helpful. I've got links in the video description so you can go out and grab Neuron Writer at AppSumo. I am an AppSumo affiliate, so if you do use my link and you make a purchase, I receive a small commission. So I hope you found this helpful. Make sure, like, subscribe, check out my other Neuron Writer videos. I've got at least four or five others that I've done, and I plan to do some more in the future. And until next time, take care.